Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove a screw where the head has been completely stripped. And we're gonna do it very simple and very easy. Let's get started. What we have here is a Phillips head screw that's inside the rotor. You see, there's one down here. This one here got stripped. So, having a hard time getting it out. There's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm gonna use these, these extracting bits to go ahead and get that out. But basically what we're gonna do is Get that bit in there so that way it can dig into the metal, grab it, and rotate that, get that out, and then we'll replace this anyway and put a, a better one in there once we're done. To complete this task, the only thing you're going to need is a set of pliers, and that's optional, but I'd recommend it. A ratchet with a quarter inch bit so that way we can slide in the, the actual extracting bits in there to get a good grip. Then you need a set of extractors. This particular set here I picked up at Harbor Freight for around 10 bucks, but you can get these at auto parts stores online, hardware stores, all over the place you can find them. But basically what they are, you have a set of Phillips and flathead uh, bits to remove, and then you have the extractors, different sizes, and then an attachment if you need it. So this is pretty much all that you'll need right here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the right size extractor for the screw that we're dealing with. So depending on what what screw head size you're dealing with, whether it be flathead, Phillips, whatever, it doesn't matter, but you just wanna make sure that you find the right one. In my case here, it looks like number three is the best one. So let's go ahead and put it in there and see how it fits. You can see right there, fits right into that opening real good. So now we need to go ahead and get that lodged in there so we can start rotating it and pull that out. You wanna go ahead and get it started by hand. I just have it here on a screwdriver with a ratchet. That way you can see there it's digging into the metal, gripping it. Because <clears throat> if you use a power tool, it's gonna to go too fast, it'll strip it even more. So we're gonna go ahead and hand, hand do this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and connect a ratchet to it next. There we go, you can see it's starting to turn. Got a good grip on it there. Just work it out slowly because you don't want to strip it anymore. And then I think we can just, there we go. Just take it out by hand now. There it is, mission accomplished. Just to show you there how it goes in, you can see how, how it dug in right there. And then it just cuts in and then just starts reversing it out. Now the challenge is getting the screw off the bit since it's cut into it. So what I do, take the ratchet, put it in a forward motion now, take some strong pliers and hold that, and boom, done. Pulls it right out. Here's a close up of the actual screw head and you can see how it cut into it there and how it basically works. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this video on how to remove a screw or even a bolt if it has a screw type head like a Phillips or flat head that's stripped. Very simple. Now, if you're dealing with nuts and bolts that are also stripped, you can check out my video via the link above. I showed how to remove those as well using a different kind of, of socket that goes on there that'll cut into those as well. Basically, if you got the right tools, these jobs can be so simple. Things that normally can be frustrating are not that big of a deal if you've got the right tools to go ahead and get them taken care of and keep your project on schedule. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.